huge Prince of Persia The Sands of Time fan, absolutely fiended that game. So when the Prince of Persia Shadows and the Flame turned up on iOS, I thought to give it a go. And first things first, the graphics are intense. It looks fantastic on an iPad, looks fantastic on an iPhone, and I found very few graphical glitches. The only time it really fell down was in the gameplay. The story, it, it's much the same as any other Prince of Persia game. You're the prince, somebody screws you over, and you have to go save the world. So you're running through all these different levels. And it's not so much open world, and not so much linear, but much more divergent paths. So you're given this level, and you can explore this level at your will, and you're graded on how fast you do it, and how many of the secret places, I suppose, or items that you collect. The game just falls down, as I said, on controls. Prince of Persia has always been a game about flow and about precision and you can't do either of those things on an iPhone or an iPad control. And I, don't know, I was constantly getting stuck in animations, it was taking too long and I kept getting caught on these pixel perfect jumps I was supposed to do. So it just became really, really frustrating. Other than that though, the game sounds really great. The story is really interesting and draws you in as well, but the boss battles are boring and repetitive. And again, it just got really hard. Like you just keep getting jerked out of this flow that you felt. So if you are a Prince of Persia fan, perhaps give it a try, but just be wary that you might be let down by the controls.